Hallelujah. Well, we're delighted. We're delighted, amen. We're delighted here, amen. And hallelujah on this Thursday evening, amen. And to be here, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just to be an uh, inspiration, amen. Just to uh, uh, send well wishes, amen. Hallelujah. This is my cousin, amen. Pastor Aaron Dykus, amen. Lady Dykus, amen. Praise God. Oh, we can do better than that. Hallelujah. We can do better than that, amen. In this portion of the day, Eric. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, uh, my cousin, amen. Oldest cousin, amen. And uh, then more like an uncle to me. Amen. When we were growing up, amen. Uh, he was uh, one of the first men, amen, that was saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we were just teenagers, amen. And he was already an adult. And um, he, uh, he kept up with us, amen. Hallelujah. We were trying to run the streets and we were trying to do this and that. Amen. But our, our cousin, amen, who was like an uncle, amen, he, he hung in there with us. He'd come and get us, amen. And he had a raggedy old vehicle, amen. I don't know what kind of vehicle that was, but it was raggedy, amen. It was smashed in in the back, and uh, we, we called it the Gootmobile. The Gootmobile. You know, and the Gootmobile would come and get us, and amen, take us up, amen, to the park, and amen, we'd play ball, and all the way to the evenings, amen. And this went on for some time, some time, amen. And even after he married Lady Dykus, amen, hallelujah, he would still come, amen. But then he kind of stopped coming a little bit, you know. So, yeah, we had, we had to let him do his husband duties, amen, be a husband, amen. But he was surely an uh, inspiration for me and so am I, uh, my uncles, amen, younger uncles, amen. We look up to our cousin, amen, amen. And we're proud of him. We're proud of what he's doing, amen. We know the Lord's going to bless him, amen, in his endeavor, amen. He's called, amen, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God's going to work it out. God's going to do it, amen, praise God. So we're going to um, uh, follow the program, amen, uh, quite uh, uh, tightly here. Amen. I know some of you have come from work. Amen. You may be tired. Amen. Uh, we want to, amen, get you out of here. Amen. But uh, uh, we do want to celebrate. We do want to say, uh, take time to say, uh, bless you and, and we love you and wrap your arms around him. Amen. And around the first lady here. Amen. And greater light. Amen. All right. All right. So we're going to have our uh, prayer and scripture at this time. We're going to call up. Uh, Brother Thomas Collier, amen. Come on up with our prayer and scripture. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As you can see, I'm not Brother Thomas, but I am your brother still. <laughs> I'm the replacement hitter. Good to have a replacement hitter. Amen. I thank and praise God for the ministry. Amen. Pastor Dyke and Sister Dyke is on your first anniversary service. Amen. Let's give it all back. Yes. Amen. That's what the Lord has done. That's what the Lord has done. That's what the Lord has done. Lord has done. It was marvelous in our sight. Amen. I thank and praise God for that. Amen. It was my spiritual birthday yesterday. Perfect. You didn't know that. That's the most important birthday I had. Without a doubt. If I didn't have that birthday, I wouldn't want it the first one. That's for sure. Thank God for my spiritual birthday yesterday. Amen. And I celebrated, but my brother uh, uh, outside also, his spiritual birthday was last was last yesterday too. Amen. So I mean, I thank you, praise God. I'm here to do prayer and scripture. Amen. On my, on my birthday, I celebrated it last night. Amen. Yesterday, by listening to Pastor Swansea, vintage, 1989, unbarred, full metal jacket, that cool. Man, the teeth were sharp, and he was bringing the heat, and a Bible class. Oh, I said, man, just like, like, uh, 
Can't preach in my church if you're not apostolic. That's what he said, amen. I'll preach in yours, but you can't preach in mine. That's what he said. I said, yeah. He was a watchdog, right? Amen. I thank praise God for us being in that ministry. Amen. There was a whole lot of stuff he saved us from sin. There was a whole lot of stuff that he didn't get to cloud our minds and detain our thoughts on, on being saved. Amen. Because he held such a high standard. And he watched who preached to us in the word of God. Amen. These men have just taken a baton and gone to the next level. And taken, taken it to the next level. Finishing out the race. Amen. And I thank and praise God for being here. Amen for that. Amen. Let's look to the Lord. Amen. We're going to thank and praise God for allowing us to be here tonight. I know you guys came far. And I know a lot of you guys have to get on the road soon. Amen. Because it's late, late, late for you guys. And appreciate you guys coming out. Amen. It's wonderful seeing you. Amen. Let's just stand on the feet. Amen. The reverence to God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Amen. Father God, in your mighty name, Lord Jesus, Lord, we come before you, Lord God. Lord, without form, without fashion, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Lord, for a place to worship today, Lord God. Lord, we thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, for a house, Lord, to be able to come to and fellowship in person, Lord God. Amen. It didn't have to be like this, Lord God. For two years, Lord God, we couldn't get out, Lord God. But now we're now to get out, Lord God, and praise and worship your name, Lord. Lord, we want to give your name the honor and praise, Lord, that is through your name. Lord, you are a God, Lord Jesus. Lord, through you we live. Through you, Lord Jesus, we move. Through you, Lord, we have our being, Lord God. Lord Jesus, we ask the Lord God to do bless his name and serve it tonight. Lord Jesus, use the man of God, Lord God. Use him like you use him every time, Lord God. Speak through him, Lord God. Speak to Pastor Holyfield, Lord God. Give us fresh raiment, Lord God, that we may understand your word, Lord God. That we may be able to chew on your word, that it may be edifying, Lord God. Help your word to challenge us, Lord Jesus, tonight. Lord, help us to understand, Lord God. Amen. What you're calling for, Lord Jesus. Lord, help us, Lord Jesus, to finish this race, Lord God. Help us to finish it what you said. Well done, good and faithful servant, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we need you every step of the way. Lord, we need to see your power exhibited, Lord God. We need to see your power, Lord Jesus. We need to see your miracle working power, Lord God. Demonstrate it through your gifts, Lord. Lord, we pray for all the sick and afflicted, Lord. Those who are watching, Lord Jesus. Lord, those who are streaming right now, Lord God. Lord, you know what they have need of, Lord Jesus. They need a special touch from you, Lord God. Help their minds, Lord God. Recalibrate their minds, Lord God. Lord Jesus, give them a recess in their pain. Lord, give them a recess in their, in their suffering, Lord God, mentally, Lord. Lord, you know what we have need of. Help your saints, Lord God. Help your saints to finish the course. Help the saints to finish the course. Help the saints, Lord God, to finish the race. Lord Jesus, that you have set before us, Lord God. Lord, help us to be strong, Lord God. Lord, help us, Lord Jesus, to praise you like we need to praise you, Lord God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to understand like you need to understand. Lord, we thank you, Lord, and we praise you. We thank you in advance for the victory in Jesus' name. Our scripture tonight, amen, comes through James chapter number one. One of the first scriptures the Lord gave to me some 35 years ago, amen, when I got saved, amen. Uh, and uh, I can remember being down on my knees in prayer, and the Lord just opened up the scripture to me. And this was one of the first books in which I really just studied in depth, just Study, 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 James. Amen. One time I had the whole book memorized. Don't ask me now. Amen. Lord knows. Amen. Amen. Uh, chapter number 12, excuse me, chapter number 1, verse number 12 reads at thus. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when the lust has been conceived, it brings forth sin. 
and sin, when it is finished, bring forth death. Do not err, my beloved brother. Every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Amen. God bless you all. Enjoy yourself in the word. And the preacher is going to bring the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Once again, welcome. Amen. We welcome you here to Greater Light. Amen. To the first church anniversary service. Amen. Praise God. Uh, thank you, Lord. Okay, we're going to have our praise and worship at this time. Amen. Brother Deontay. Uh, Ducky. Brother Deontay. Amen. Can we say praise the Lord, everybody? Can we say praise the Lord, everybody? If God's been good to you, can you clap your hands, open up your mouth, and put a sound of praise on the previous good lips? If you're the enemy for you, lift up God, God, and praise His name out. Come on, lift up your voice. I took the King of Peace and to the Lord of Lords, and He's the Holy Spirit. He's the one who provided for us. Two and a half years of pandemic. When He didn't start a church in the pandemic, the number of God's grace. He's come to celebrate God's grace tonight. Come on. Open up your mouth and give God the glory. For He's wonderful. He's holy. 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 He's
Greater Light Ministry was birthed in the heart of Pastor Aaron Dykus. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah 60 and 1. And wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end. 1 Peter 1 and 13 are the two scriptures the Lord gave him that painful morning. Elder Aaron and Sister Vanessa began ministering by singing in the backyard and preaching God's word from their home during the COVID-19 pandemic. Our opening service was held at the Holiday Inn La Mirada on August 15, 2021. Online Bible class was held in their living room. Our eight weeks, after eight weeks, the Lord granted us favor and allowed us the church to move to our current location on October 17, 2022. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Since Greater Light Ministry has begun, the Lord has quadrupled its membership. Remember, they only began with two. <laughs> God has given us a family of faithful people who love Him and serve for the betterment of ourselves and others. We are grateful for everyone who has supported us in any form. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that built it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. Psalms 127 and 1. We are honored for the call, grateful for the privilege, and humbled by his provision. Pray for us and rejoice with us as God complete the work he has begun. Amen. Amen. Praise God Amen. at this time. Amen. Uh, we have some guest pastors. Amen. With uh, remarks. Amen. We would like you to come up at this time. Amen. Uh, give your remarks. Amen. Praise God. If you're here and you're pastoring, amen. Come on up. Amen. And give some remarks. Some words. Amen. To uh, Pastor Dykus and uh, Lady Dykus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Congo playing machine. Hallelujah. I don't know anything else about him. I know that for sure. Uh, one thing I remember that I'm going to yield to my wife is he was kind of bothered because we won so many games at the at the at the family vacation when we went to Florida. Look at his face. When we went to Florida, <laughs> and we were we were dominating the card table. <laughs> Brother Dykes was not happy with that. So he sat down and politely bumped us off. <laughs> so that's my fondest memory of Pastor Dykus. I'm going to yield uh, to my wife who has known him for some time. So we'll let her have remarks at this time. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 We thank and praise the Lord for being here. I wouldn't have missed it at all. Thank you, Amen. Lord. These are my friends, my daughter, and the Lord. Amen. And he's got to be my son in the Lord. Amen. Amen. I loved him to death. Amen. I've known him since he's apostolic. Amen. And uh, I'm just close to them. Even though we don't call, sometimes you don't call everybody all the time, but we're close. Amen. And I thank the Lord for the ministry that God has given them. We thank the Lord for how they've conducted themselves and, you know, conducted their lives. Amen. Amen. And they're just such giving and kind people. Amen. To make you want to want to serve the Lord. To make you want to do something for the Lord. To make you want to serve Him all the days of your life. Amen. And I know that I was just telling uh, Pastor Holmes here. I said, uh, <coughs> Pastor Doc is just love to praise the Lord. He just loved to praise the Lord. He said, you remember when they were in the backyard? I said, yeah. I said, yeah. I said, he just loved to praise the Lord. He don't care. He's just make a Joyful noise unto the Lord. I said, did you see him the other day on Facebook? He was just in the sanctuary playing bad bongos all by himself. <laughs> 
That's the way he loved the Lord. And we thank and praise the Lord uh, for being here. We thank and praise the Lord for the invitation. God bless you. Amen. 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 I see Elder Jackson back right there. He's not pastoring now, but he was a pastor. So I'm going to ask him to come up and have remarks at this time. I'm glad you're here, my brother. Glad to see you. Come on up here. this wonderful occasion. Amen. We thank God for his faithfulness unto his people, right? And the Lord knows what we need. He knows what we need and how uh, to bring it about so that we, there's a continuity of things. You know, um, this was birthed out of, of course, there's pain. I read it in here, right? Amen. But the Lord is our shepherd and he's a healer, right? You know, he's the over Rafa and he, he's the God that healeth us. And, you know, if we allow God to make, uh, you know, just do what we need him to do to, to make provision for us, he always does. He always does. And I'm a witness of that. Amen. It's a good thing. I, you know, I was going to sit back and, and, you know, when we walked in, uh, so, you know, our sister said, well, there's only a couple of seats and they're, they're up front. So I'm thinking maybe like the front row and he brought us all the way up here. You know? <laughs> he said, I don't want to sit up here and have, you know, everybody looking at me. Oh, man, I came to hear the preacher. You know? I came, came to celebrate and, and to, you know, enjoy the service tonight. Amen. But, but nevertheless, so I, I sat back there and then, you know, my good friend called me up again. Right, so I like to stay in the, you know, in the background and, and just, you know, enjoy things. So it's just good to see faces that I haven't seen in quite a while. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. I pray that you all are blessed. You know, it, it, it was worth our while to make the drive down. We're coming Amen. from Inglewood, California. You know, on Thursday evening rush hour, but God uh, blessed us to be in that carpool lane. My wife. <laughs> My wife came with me and allowed me to get down here, and, and so we didn't miss the preacher. You know, we didn't miss the preacher. Hey, man, we love you all. We love, my wife loves you, Sister Dykes. You know, you all, you took her under your wings, and you just loved on her. Hey, man, and she hasn't forgotten it. Um, Elder Dykes, thank you for everything that you, you know, spoken into me. You know, the words of encouragement over the over the years that we were there at, at peace we we were at peace um beginning in 2019 and so you know we're, we're gonna we're still there the lord hasn't moved us anywhere yet amen but we love the lord amen. we love the lord amen. and contrary to what you may have heard amen there's some folks there that love the lord jesus christ amen. and we're looking for him to return at any moment amen. our pastor he he made it adamant Amen. To look up for your redemption is getting closer every day. Yeah. And that's what we're continuing to do. We're looking up and we're looking up with you. Amen. Amen. So God bless you, everybody. We love you in Jesus' name. Y'all pray for us. We'll continue to pray for you. Amen. Yeah. Peace from a long time ago on Prairie. Remember how we used to do it back on Prairie a year, the year ago, when the service got really crowded? What did the brothers used to do? Yeah, we run around the wall. That's right. Yeah, we around the wall. Yeah, we stood up and gave a So we're going to ask a few of you guys, amen, who are young, able, stand up, give up your seat. Not yet, not yet when we knock on the door, you man. We do have an overflow room also. We have an overflow in which you can go to be there, but amen. Just want to let you know, amen. We'll do it like we did old school, amen. amen. <laughs> 
Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. For all the uh, kind words. Amen. To uh, Pastor Michael and Lady Ikes. Amen. Uh, yeah. Thank the Lord. Amen. We are uh, uh, excited. Amen. I see the preacher here. Amen. Praise God. My friend. Hallelujah. Preaching machine. Amen. Praise God. We're in for a treat. And first lady. Amen. Praise God. Holy field. Amen. Praise God. Good to see you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We got the older sister. We got the little sister. Uh, yeah, I went to school with both of them. Went to high school with both of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a blessing. Amen. It's been a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, amen. Praise God. Uh, we're going to go on uh, into our offering. Amen. Our offering at this time. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We thank you all for coming. And we do have an overflow next door if you want to go next door. And uh, we do have a big screen over there. Elder Griffiths look real beautiful in there. Well, I just went over and checked it out. So it's, we have a small church, so just... You know, just fit in where you're at. And, uh, amen. And we passed the plate so you don't have to walk around. So, amen. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, it's your time. We don't believe, we don't believe in begging. Amen. We don't believe. We just ask and we believe the Lord will give it. Amen. I can testify that we don't, we're not in need of anything. But we must go on. Every bishop still used to say everybody needs money. And so, <laughs> amen, if you would give your best offer right now, we would appreciate it. Amen. Whatever your best offering is, as the plate come along, amen. If you give it uh, electronically, it's cash out. It's capital G, capital L ministry. Capital G, capital L ministry. If you give it on Zelle, it's 562-292-3120. If you give in PayPal, simply Aaron Dykes PayPal. If you have check or money order, make it out to Greater Light Ministry. And every gift is appreciated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'll give you a little time. Then, glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. Glory to God. Glory to glory to glory.
got a boy, I can leave everybody had a chance to give. Just kill the time. Y'all know all mine. Holla, I'll holla at the time. <laughs> I love to holler for Jesus. How many love to holler for Jesus? I don't want to impose on anybody, but I, I wish somebody just opened up your mouth and give you a great big shout of praise right now. Yeah. You just, let me tell you about your shouting. Bishop used to always say, I don't mind you shouting, but I want you to shout and tell it to The reason you're shouting because you just gave in one of the most important parts of the service. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive, and you just gave. And so God's going to bless you tenfold, fivefold, hundredfold, thirtyfold. How many believe God's blessings? Now shout intelligently. Open up your mouth and give me a great big shout. What you see, you can see the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They don't catch you. Ah, whatever God have laid on your heart. Thank you for giving. I love you. Thank you for coming. We'll be back in a little bit.
Certainly, um, Mother Eloise, amen. Mother Eloise, amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, this pastor is Pastor Dyke is his mother, Eloise, amen. She will be so proud of her son, amen. Praise God. She will be so proud. Anna, amen. Yes. Anna will be so proud. Yes. Amen. amen. And say, Pip, Pippy, Pip. I'll be so proud. Amen. amen. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. We only got a little further to go, y'all. Amen. 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 We only got a little bit further to go. Amen. 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 He that shall come will come. Yes. Right. And he will not tear. Right. Right. Hallelujah. He will not tear. Right. The just shall live by their faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. We're almost home. We're almost home. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, are we are we still doing praise and worship? Amen. Praise God. We're gonna call up praise and worship, uh, brother um, Deon Deontay. Deontay Duggan. Amen. Come on back. Come on back.
And if you're over, lift up your hands and begin to talk to God in your own way. If you want to whisper, if you want to yell, if you want to bow and express, because he's here. You're God, you're holy, you're righteous, I'm living to you.
Amen. We want to introduce, amen, to some, present to others. Amen. The under shepherd, hallelujah, of this great assembly here, Greater Light Ministry, Pastor Aaron Dykus, Lady Vanessa Dykus at this time. Come on now. Let's show up some love. Come on now. 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 This is what we do. This is what we do. We gotta get out of the way, but Dulos, it's a special Holyfield Dulos. If you don't mind, can you get a picture of uh, Sister Holyfield and Pastor Holyfield myself? If you guys don't mind, would you come stand with us, please? Just for a second, we can inconvenience you. Just for a from us. But my desire was that just the people of God will have some, somewhere to worship. And I cried out to the Lord and I had no idea that he would call us to this work. I had no idea. But when he did, I remember first Elder Maddox opened up. Went over there and helped him. Pastor Mitchell opened up. I went over and helped him. And I thought about it while I was crying at Pastor Mitchell's church. Not just one place did he give us the worship. But he gave us all of these places to worship. And he's called these men of God. Let me tell you, we can't have done anything else. I would have loved to go sit under somebody else. Like pastor would say, whoever want to be a pastor. You, know, you, you never do the right thing. People talk about you. But when God calls you to this thing, he prepares you. Makes a way. I want to tell all of you that are members here at Greater Light, you have done a marvelous job. Amen. Someone been able to pray at the very first service. I was watching it the other day, and he prayed, and he's been with us ever since. And Damon, our keyboard player, he was at our very first service, and he was working somewhere else. And I prayed, and I asked God. I, me and my wife, we touched him. We said, "We want him." And God, he's been with us the whole year. Amen. If you've done anything for a whole year, you've done good. And especially this. And I speak today, I have newfound respect for you, my brother. How long have you been in the ministry, brother? Uh, as a pastor? Yes. Oh, it's been since 99, so we've been at 23 years. 23 years in the ministry. Right. When I call somebody to come, not only is he my brother-in-law, he's my family. We go way back and remember when he was over on Vernon. I used to go preach for him. And I can remember what God was doing over there. And I, since starting this work, I have a, a brand new respect for you. <laughs> this ain't for the light of heart. But guess what? We have a great boss. We have one who will never give you the wrong wages. He's going to pay you what's right. I don't, I'm not, I'm delighted being called to this ministry. I don't have one night that I regret being called to this ministry. Amen. And I know God is in it because he just keeps making ways out of nowhere. Amen. I'm going to move out of the way, but just like, do you have anything you want to say? Well, 
She don't tear up my church. I need a little <laughs> mic. Don't tear my church up. Okay. He is so protective of this little mic. <laughs> I'm gonna go get me a mic. Watch out for my mic. It's gonna be pink. I'm getting my own mic. Okay. Right? Thank you all so much for coming and celebrating with us. It's not easy, it's not easy, but it's so well worth it. It's so well worth it to be honored to call, be called to serve in the master's service. And I am so privileged, I'm so proud of my husband. I'm proud of you, honey. I'm proud of him. He is, he's all in. He's all in. In 33 to be exact, Tammy, I, I was, I was, um, one year I put on Facebook, we put on Facebook, we said we were married 32 years, and my sister Tammy, correction, no, no, you, you up to the year. So I got one, one, one space back. So I think we right on right now, about 33. So, but I'm so thankful in the 33 years of marriage that I have never seen this Aaron, this Pastor Dykus, right. this guy. Because he lives and he breathes and he he can't hardly sleep for thinking about what he can do to build up ministry in this house. And I'm so grateful. He know I'm all in. I'm all in. Because it's nothing more important than putting your life on hold or on sacrifices for the betterment of other people. It's a sacrifice to put everything you thought your future was going to be on the hold for other people, but I'm so grateful for the call, and I'm asking God to bless us in this ministry, and I'm asking you all to pray for us. Pray for us as we pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 But we don't want anything to attack the word of God. So at this time, I want everyone to stand on your feet while you're standing. Put those hands together. So my brother and my Amen. 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 We, we just we thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your business schedule. And, and I, 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 I don't take it lightly. I love you. You know I love you. Tammy, you know I love you. That's the baby sister of 22 siblings. So this is a tough man right here. <laughs> I know I catch it, so I know he catch it. <laughs> She's like, cut it off, stop it. <laughs> Love you, brother law. Amen. Uh, Al, if you would cut this mic and give him his mic and whip it out of the way, we love you. Somebody point your hands this way and tell the Holy Field, say, Preach the word. Let the Lord use you. Let the Lord use Giving you strength and has sustained you and 
it is God. And I know that you know that it's God that has helped you. It's God that has helped you. Uh, pastoring is tough sledding, to say the least. It's, it's, it's tough sledding. It's tough sledding. And pastors need prayer. Their wives need prayer. Their families need prayer. But it is a blessing to be on the front line, for lack of a better word, the front line of ministry, of doing the work of God, is a blessing and it is a privilege. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm thinking I praise God, amen, for my teammate, Stony Phil. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for your prayers. I tell all the time, if she don't pray, it just it just don't work. It, no, it don't work. It don't work. It don't, as a pastor, it don't work. Hey, man, you need your wife, you need your teammate to be praying for you, lifting you up. Uh, she sees things that you can't see. And she feels things and she knows things. Hey, man, God speaks to your wife. Hey, man. And it's a great help. And I thank and I praise God for you. Amen. Coming here tonight. Amen. Helping us celebrate. Thank you, Jesus, over here here tonight. Thank God, amen, for the songs that were sung to the glory of God. Amen. Nothing like God's people when they just start singing. Ain't nothing like that. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Nothing like that when God's people start singing and you have anointed musicians that know how to pray, play skillfully. Amen. On the string instruments. And on the drums and on the high sounding cymbals. That is a blessing. Amen. To the service. It just it it, it enhances the praise. Because praise comes from the heart of the people. Praise comes from the heart of the people. But when you have the musicians, it just enhances and it highlights the praise. And it gives more glory, amen, to God. Amen. We get ready, amen, for the word of God. Amen. Tonight. Amen. Solicit your prayers. Amen. Solicit your prayers. Solicit your prayers. Solicit your prayers. Amen. That the word of the Lord will be done uh, in this place that we will hear from heaven. Uh, that God would help us to extrapolate something to strengthen us, to help us, and to encourage us. Amen. Tonight, uh, that we may be more profitable for kingdom work and for kingdom building. That we may be more profitable. That God be able to get more glory out of our lives and for his will just to be forged in us. Is that all right? Yeah. Let us stand. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For a word of prayer. And then afterwards, I'm going to ask if you would please say that oblige me by remain standing in reference to the word of God as we read from what we'll be preaching and exhorting from tonight. At this time, everybody can stand, please. Amen. Whatever head bowed, every eye closed out of reverence to God. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you, O God, for being here tonight. God, we thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, O God, for your love and kindness. God, we thank you, Jesus, for the opportunity to be in the house of God once again. You've called us for such a time as this. Oh God, you have saved us, given us your spirit. Hallelujah and washed us with your blood. And for that, we do say thank you. Thank you Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, I acknowledge you for now. I am not the preacher. Oh God, but I am just a vessel. I pray that you use me for your glory. You, that you send forth the word of God under the anointing, the power, the inspiration, and the unction of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, I pray that you bless your people the whole tonight. That you build them up by the Spirit of God and by the word of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, does any unsaved that will come into our midst? God, we pray that you would save them tonight. Hallelujah. Deliver the unregenerate man, unregenerate woman. Oh, God, look up, our Lord, those that are walking by, those that are driving by, those that are passing by. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, God, stretch your hand at him now. Touch their heart, inspire them out, oh, God, to come here to your house before it's too late. Oh, God, remember, Lord, those that are still on their way. God, we pray that you be kind to them and give them traveling mercy and cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Bless them and help them, Lord, to make it his safety, oh God, in your appointed time. Now, Lord, give us an ear to hear 
what the Spirit says to the church. Open up by understanding to the Word of God that you might be glorified thereby. And Father, be so careful to give you the honor. We will give you the glory and the praises, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. Let's give God some praise for our hands. Right, get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. It is time for the Word of God. Get your Bibles. It is time for the Word of God. And if you would tonight, I want you to open up the Word of God to 1 Peter. I want to look at 1 Peter. I want to look at 1 Peter. And over in 1 Peter, I want to take a look at at chapter number one. I want you to take a look at chapter number one. First Peter chapter number one. And I'm going to begin reading the word of God at verse one. First Peter chapter one. And I'm going to begin reading the word of God at verse number one. And when you have found that place in your Bible, please respond to me by saying amen. Amen. First Peter chapter 1, verse number 1, the word of the Lord reads as follows. Peter and our apostle of Jesus Christ to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, Unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that faded by the way reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Skip it down now to verse number 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, peace over, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of of Jesus Christ. You may take your seats. Lord, thank you, Lord. And if God would permit me tonight, I want to give you a word of exhortation. And I'm going to stay in the same vein as this preacher so long ago. The pen discipline. The preacher did pen this epistle. My intention tonight is just to follow his smoke. I'm gonna follow his smoke. Peter, when he wrote this book right here, no doubt he was moved by the Holy Ghost. And he did not have a church in mind per se that he is writing to, such as the beloved Apostle Paul. who penned several letters to several different churches, primarily to Gentiles, but at the same time, it was a benefit for the Jewish faithful that was able to receive the epistles he wrote. And because of his 
much writing. I believe that's why Apostle Paul was known as the Apostle to the Gentiles. And then Apostle Peter picked up the reputation as being the Apostle to the Jews. Oh, I like him here tonight, though, because here, here, the way God is leading him now, uh, he's not writing to a particular church, but he's just writing to brethren. He's writing to saints. He's writing to the people of the name. Right. Hallelujah. He's writing to people that have had the experience of being baptized in Jesus' name yeah. and being filled with the Holy Ghost. And doing what they can to live for God, to serve God, and to please God. Hallelujah. So that's why when you look at the book, the book uh, does not necessarily have um, a direct theme, if you would. But when somebody put it together in the natural uh the book, they say it was covering more or less the suffering and the glory of God. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Right. I think it, amen, right. I think, amen, that uh, the pastor, amen, Pastor Dykes was led by God, amen, when he put this meeting together and taking the scripture, amen, that he chose to be the support base for the meeting. 1 Peter, amen, chapter 1, verse number 13, where he says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. I think, amen, that the preacher was right on the money, amen, when he chose, amen, that to be, amen, his base scripture uh, for this meeting that we're in, because uh, I truly believe in my heart, hallelujah, that we're living in a time which is similar uh, to what the readers of this letter approximately 2,000 years ago, amen, I believe, amen, that the time that we're living in now, that it is very similar, hallelujah, glory to God, amen. And I like it when it said to, to, to brethren scattered abroad. In other words, it didn't make a difference of where your church home was or what your affiliation was. Hello? It did not make a difference, amen, of who your pastor was or who your Sunday school teacher was. The Holy Ghost just anointed the apostle at this time. He had to be anointed in order to put pen to paper. And there was a lot of things and a lot of saints of God, amen, which was on his heart when he penned this letter. I like it, amen, because Apostle Peter, although the book, amen, is not a very long book, 1 Peter is only five chapters, and I believe when God anointed him the second time, that second Peter, I believe if memory serves me correct, that it's only three chapters over there. But nevertheless, amen, the man said a mouthful, and I like it how he just got right down to business. Hallelujah. Yeah, he touched on the major cities and the major regions of where, the, where they were densely populated, but not to leave anybody out, not to have anybody feeling that they was getting the short end of the stick. He said to the brethren that were scattered abroad. In other words, he understood at this time that it was a rough time for the church. Amen. That the apostles, amen, were aging gracefully and several of them by this time, amen, had already been martyred for the name of Jesus. Amen. We are, uh, yeah, yeah, we remember, amen, that James, amen, was the first out the block, amen, to be martyred when Herod uh, took the sword to him. And then when he saw that it pleased the people, when he saw that there was no real pushback, amen, for killing that Holy Ghost filled preacher, for killing that oneness preacher, for killing that apostolic preacher. When Herod saw that it was no pushback behind it, the Bible tells me that he was mindful to take Peter also. In 
in other words, he was just testing the water to see just how far he could push it. Amen. Just to see how far he could take this. Amen. So he locked up Peter and had every intention of taking Apostle Peter life also. But those of us that know the word of God, we know the story. Amen. As Peter sat there in that jail, amen, of illegal detention, an illegal arrest, an illegal trial that they had planned to put on. While Peter sat there, we know that God miraculously delivered Peter, amen, from that prison. Hallelujah. And I thank God, amen, for them, so those Holy Ghost filled saints. Amen. That were praying. Amen. And interceded for Peter. Amen. On a daily basis. They was praying in the daytime. They was praying at night. I don't know if they was taking shifts or if they was doing tag team. Hallelujah. But I know at Mary's house, Mary, the mother of John Mark, amen, they had 24-hour prayer, amen, that was going on for Peter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And they was watching and praying in every sense of the word. Oh, yes, they were. They were watching and they were praying. Because the Bible tells me that there was a maid there by the name of Rhoda. When God had miraculously delivered Peter, amen, from the prison, Peter himself could not believe it. He had to pinch himself. He thought he was dreaming as he sat there bound with chains and bound with feathers in between two soldiers. And the angel of the Lord and the light of God shined in the prison, hallelujah, and tapped him on the side and his shackles came off. Hallelujah. And he told him to bind on your sandals. Peter thought he was dreaming. He had to hit Peter and let him know. I'm talking about the angel. Had to hit Peter and let him know. No, this thing is real. God has heard the prayers of the saints and God. Amen. Hallelujah. Honors their prayers. The Bible tells me, hallelujah, that they passed through the first and the second war seemingly unseen and undetected. They got out into the street and made a hard left and and then they hooked the right. And when they got to the gate, the Bible tells me that the gate, amen, which was locked and secured, the gate just swung open on his heart. Oh, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Hallelujah. But I have every intention of preaching this thing tonight. Ah, the gates swung open. And Peter at that time realized that it wasn't a dream, that it wasn't a vision. But this was real. And the first place he had it, he had it to John Mark. He headed to Mary's house. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Where well, they were still in their prayer. Now remember that little maid named Rhoda that they told you just watch the door. Uh, you ain't cut out for this prayer. Uh, you too green. You too young. Uh, you too 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 thin. Uh, too thin skin. You just watch the door and don't let nobody in. So Rhoda was just doing what she was told when she heard Peter uh, knocking at the door. Amen. And recognized his voice. She went back and told them that Peter is at the door. And they told her, girl, sit down. Uh, shut up and be quiet. Don't you know we're here praying? Oh, but she insisted. She knew what she heard. Hallelujah. She knew that that was Peter. She had had him in Sunday school for too long. Not to know his voice. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that was a Sunday school teacher. Uh, she knew it was Peter. Uh, and they let him in. Glory to God. Uh, and then they began to rejoice. Uh, so now as they years go by. Uh, this apostle has, an, uh, the apostle has a lot of experience under his belt. Uh, he's been through some things uh, and he has seen some things uh, and he understands uh, that his life in the natural uh, is going to be coming to an end uh, and that pretty quickly. Uh, but God anoints him uh, to pin this letter to the church. Uh, thank you Jesus uh, to begin uh, to talk about the hope uh, that we have in Christ Jesus. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, he pins this letter uh, and begins to minister to the church uh, and share with the church uh, what God uh, has put on his heart. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and understanding uh, that it was tough standing. Uh, he was coming to strengthen the people uh, and 
to encourage the people, uh, but he knew I understood. Uh, in order for the people to stand, uh, in order to be successful, be saved uh, in these last and these evil days, uh, Peter put it on the paper uh, and he said, "Wherefore, uh, gird up the loins uh, of your mind, uh, be sober, uh, and hope to the end uh, for the grace." And it's going to be brought unto you uh, at the revelation uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, the word gird, uh, it means to prepare oneself uh, for something difficult uh, or something challenging. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, every preacher today, uh, every pastor today, uh, this is challenging uh, and it is difficult. Uh, we are being buffeted uh, on every hand uh, in the natural uh, and in the spirit. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, but God uh, said, burn up your loins. Uh, in other words, put on your strength, Zion. Uh, yes, uh, burn up the loins of your mind uh, and be sober. Uh, and if your faith is bit weak, uh, he said, just hope to the end. Uh, hope for the grace. Uh, honey, I like grace. Uh, grace is my best friend. Because uh, when I fall short, uh, I find grace is right there. Uh, but don't nobody call me. Uh, guess who I hear on the phone? Uh, Jesus. Yeah. 
experience. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, he knows what it's like. Uh, he had been down before. Uh, oh, yes, he had. Uh, he had been down before. Uh, I remember when Jesus told him, uh, said, Simon, Simon, uh, behold, Satan hath desired uh, to have you, uh, that he may sift you as wheat. Uh, but I have prayed for thee, uh, that thy faith fail not. Uh, and when thou art converted, uh, strengthen thy brethren. Uh, I believe that was on his mind uh, when he kept his land. Uh, Peter wasn't perfect. Uh, he knew he had messed up before. Uh, but now Peter, uh, as an old man, uh, and sin, uh, that he must soon put off this tabernacle. Uh, Peter mind uh, was not able to help as many people uh, as I can. Uh, Of the reason of the hope that is in you. Hold 
strange uh, concerning the fiery trial uh, which has come to try you uh, as though some strange thing uh, has happened unto you. Uh, honey, trials and tests uh, are all part of it. Uh, hardship uh, is all part of it. Uh, yes, uh, suffering uh, is a part of it. Uh, but that's why he told him uh, he front loaded this thing uh, in chapter number one uh, when he said, Gird up. Uh, the lowest of your mind. Does uh, he know you're going to suffer? Uh, he know you're going to go through. Uh, he know you're going to have days uh, when you're not feeling it. Uh, but it ain't about how you feel. Uh, it's about what you got to do. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, Sometimes, Pastor, uh, you may find yourself uh, down here by yourself, uh, but you got to do uh, what you got to do. Uh, there ain't nobody doing it. Uh, you got to do it. Oh, but it ain't strange. It's not strange. It's not strange, Pastor. It's not strange. It's not strange. If they say they with you, then they walk out the door. No, that's not strange. That happens in 2022. Hello, here's somebody. It's not strange. If they make a promise that they come in. But then you look out the window. They call out on the lot. It's not strange. It's not strange, preacher. If you look at the married couple and you're counseling them from your heart. And then they two days later, two days later, huh? thanks for the counsel, huh? but she going this way, huh? and I got them over there. Huh? I'm going over there. Huh? Think it not strange huh? to turn in that fiery child huh? when they come huh? for the trying of your faith. Get out your way. I'll get out your way. But Apostle Peter, he said they wrote in the book. Uh, he said judgment uh, must begin at the house of God. Uh, yes, uh, that's what judgment starts at. Uh, it starts with the house of God. Uh, God is judging us. Uh, he's judging motives. Uh, every single thing you do, uh, it is duly noted uh, and documented uh, by the angels. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that's why you got to walk circumspectly. Uh, walk in the faith. Uh, got to watch your footsteps. Uh, Everything. Uh, and if you offend somebody, uh, oh, ask God to forgive him uh, and try to make it right if it's possible. Uh, help oh, kill somebody. Uh, in other words, uh, don't let your hang up uh, hang you up. Uh, don't go to hell for nobody uh, and over nobody's body. Uh, oh, your mind got to be made up. Uh, that's the key scripture. Uh, Turn up the laws of your mind. Uh, if your mind is made up, uh, you can make it through anything. Uh, if your mind is made up, uh, And they try to say, you can't judge. Oh, we're not judging. But we are fruit inspectors. Jesus said, you shall know them by their fruit. Hello, here's somebody. And the world don't like it. No, they don't. But even now, we got to preach even harder. We got to be more diligent. Hello, here's somebody. Now is the time. We got to be even more dogmatic. The church is not going to go down. Not on our watch. Oh, no, no, no. You are always have a witness. Not the gospel. Oh, uh, hell is real. 
Yes, it is. And I know they're trying to get away from preaching hell because they say it's a negative message. They say that hell is negative. And when you talk about sin, they say that's negative. Oh, but you got to give them the whole note. They've got to preach the word of God. They've got to preach the truth. Jesus was a hell preacher. Yes, he was. He was about hell, fire, and brimstone. And at the same time, he was about love. Hallelujah. I know they just want one big ecumenical church. Take the denomination off. And don't take no stand. I tell people all the time, if you got a hundred dollar bill, if you tear them four colors off, what you got? You ain't got nothing yet. Ah, yes. So you got a church, but it ain't Jesus' name. If you got a church, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. If you got a church, and you don't speak in tongues, you ain't got nothing. Ain't got Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. I guess, I guess I better be nice. Clean it up. Let it go out to television land. Uh, God like a, a Oh, he do. But he wants you to make a decision. And he wants those of us that say, hang in there and stick with this, because this is right. Hallelujah. We have been blessed to get this. Amen. Just like these saints of old was blessed. And Peter was just trying to encourage them. Just trying to give them a little kingdom for their fire. Uh, before he passed off the scene, uh, he just wanted a group of men and women uh, that would hold fast to it. Uh, and I think that's what we got to do now. Uh, we got to encourage people uh, to hold fast to the word of God. Uh, hold fast to the Holy Ghost. Uh, hold fast to the gospel. Uh, yes. Uh, suffering and we're talking about glory. glory. Amen. Because you experience it all. Thank especially Lord. being a pastor. Your ups and your downs. Hallelujah. Amen. But I think it's only right that we encourage each other. Amen. We support each other. Yes. Fellowship with each other. Saints of God need fellowship. Oh yes they do. Saints of God need fellowship. They need fellowship. And thank God for every medium that we have when we're able to communicate our message. Thank God for it. If we have Facebook, thank God for it. Thank God for Instagram. And thank God for every mode of communication. TikTok, all of it. Twitter, thank God for it. But don't nothing take the place of an in-person fellowship. Don't nothing take the place of a stand. That's what he said in the song 50. And verse number 5. Gather my saints together to me. Those that made a covenant with me. My sacrifice. It takes a sacrifice. People don't want to sacrifice.
about what God has done. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just in back here. I'm sorry. I want to go out there.
Evidence is speaking in other tongues. Hallelujah. If you hear, if you hear, if you listen and you hear, come on down. We won't do you no harm. Come on down. Come on down. Hallelujah. You will say to God in here. And you've been weak. Amen. You've been through this and that. Come on down here. Amen. So we can lay hands on you. Come on down here. Amen. We still believe in the anointing oil. We still believe in laying hands on the sick. Amen. Sometimes your mind is sick. Amen. Praise God. If that's you, come on down here. Come on. Make an open show in front of the devil. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank God for the man of God on tonight. What plan with it? Did play with it. Amen. Praise God. I feel strength. I feel encouraged. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Amen. Perventure. Amen. There's no one. Amen. You all saved. Amen. You all love Jesus. Amen. Once again, thank you. Amen. Thank you for coming out. Hallelujah. Amen. To celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With greater light. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is doing wonderful things. Amen. Oh, yeah. The Lord is doing wonderful things. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to close. Amen. We're going to close. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we all stand? Amen. Amen. We're going to be dismissed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's, let's give uh, man of God a hand praise as he walks. Amen. Praise God. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise